Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we have a good old fashioned Scentsy haul. Now I'm super excited for this haul. I'm always excited for all the hauls. Who am I kidding? But I'm really excited because I placed an order, I closed out a party for just some good old fashioned bars. So we have my favorite thing, a box within a box full of bars. Oh my, this is so heavy, you guys. So we have a Scentsy box full of bars. And I, just like I said, there's some bars that are new to me in here. There's some bars that I wanted to stock up on because some bars, I know that I want to melt them in my open space. However, I don't have enough bars. So I got one more of those so I could make it two. And it's already coming in the famous um, uh, cool pack. So if you're not familiar with Scentsy shipping, in the warmer months, they definitely like to include uh, the uh, shipping cool bags, which is awesome because your bars will not come melted. However, I didn't realize that they would be coming like this already. So I have one, two, three ice packs. And then it looks like they wrapped them in this like paper. I've never had that before. So interesting. And then we have probably one of the best sights moment that I went like this and all of the bars fell out. So we're not going to do that, but we are going to go through all of the bars. Now I, I may do some descriptions. It just depends on what the bar is, but I'm just going to reach in and go. The first bar I picked up is Black Raspberry Vanilla. Let's try that again. Black Raspberry Vanilla. This is like the OG classic Scentsy bar, and I never really have them in my collection, but this is such a good bar. It's such a classic, reminiscent, nostalgic scent for Scentsy. If you like sweet raspberry with a little bit of a creamy vanilla, has the right amount of tartness, the right amount of sweetness, I love this bar. And if you ever notice some of your like really heavy bakery scents create like a burnt sort of like res residue on the bottom of your dish, if you melt some black raspberry vanilla, let me tell you, it takes it right off. I don't know why. I don't know what makes those oils do that, but they do. Ooh, I know I have two of these in here. Oh, actually, I have two black raspberry vanilla bars. So I have another one right here. I have two lilacs and violets. I melted this last year in my old apartment that had really high ceilings, and I feel like I didn't get the true essence of the scent. So I wanted to try it again. And this is such a pretty, pretty lilac scent. Now this has come out a couple years now, so who knows if it's still gonna remain in the catalog next year, but this is so pretty. If you like a lilac, it's definitely lilac, however, there's like a hint of that sweet violet. It's really, really pretty. I love it for spring. So I wanted to pick up one of those. I got another mango shortcake. Now I did add this to my club. Will it stay there? I'm not sure. I'm actually going to leave this bar for a couple months before I melt it again because the bar that I melted was really good. I just wish it was a little stronger. So I am gonna let this bar sit and cure. And if you're not familiar with the Sensepirations collection, these bars actually are inspired by Gogo Mango. So this is like Gogo Mango with a little bit of like a really vanilla shortcake and whipped cream. It is really yummy, I like that. I picked up another pink lemon water. This is one that I did have already one of, but I think I wanna melt it in this open concept. It's not open concept necessarily, but like my open space. This is like a really, thick clam. This is so good. It's like rose lemon water. Like, it's so pretty. I would totally drink a drink like this. Like a rose lemon water. I love roses. I have a rose shirt on. Love roses. This one, sandalwood tangerine. This is one that I definitely wanted to have another in and I added it to my club. I haven't melted it yet, but it is so pretty. It's like cedar wood sandalwood, bright citrus. If you like more masculine citrus scents, you definitely have to try this. It's so, so, so pretty. 
Definitely wanted to pick up another one of those. Bonfire Beach. I don't understand the hype for this one. I just picked up another one to try it again. It's like salty sea air and toasted marshmallow. It is really pretty. I just wish, it's just not one that I always gravitate towards. So I'm gonna try it again, probably in my bedroom or the office and see what I think. But people love it, so I'm not sure. It's just not one that I always, always love. Oh, Luna. I know there's another Luna bar in here somewhere. Yep, right here. Two Lunas, I actually added this as a brick to my next Sensi Club because do you guys remember my empties? My Luna brick was almost a little over three years old and it threw for days in my bedroom. Like days, 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 and it was so old. So I wanna get another brick of that, tuck it away and see if it's still gonna be like that. If not, I'm gonna stock up on those Luna bricks and just let them sit because the shelf life on those is incredible and Luna, is the most beautiful, comforting, sweet, floral, sleepy time scent. I actually love this more than jammy time, and I thought I ordered, yeah, I did order a few jammy time bars too, but it's just a sweet, comforting floral. I love that. And then we have what I just said, jammy time. I have two jammy times in here, and this is a little bit more of a like snuggle, like, fabric softener or like baby body wash. This is also really pretty for the bedroom. Really sweet, definitely sweeter than Luna. <sighs> I equally like both. I could crave both at different times. Luna, like I said, is more floral where Jammy Time is more like lavender. So Jammy Time and Luna, I have a couple bars of those. Always enjoy. Oh, hibiscus pineapple. I had this one last year and I really enjoyed it. I love the color. This is a very sweet, pineapple-y, fruity scent. I really enjoy it. Excited to have it for the summer. It's also one that I enjoy, but it's not one I would ever club, but it is nice to have in my collection. Oh, I got another mango shortcake, so perfect. Oh, I know I have two of these. Yes, I talked about it in my empties. Sugared strawberry. I love sugared strawberry. It is just sweet candied strawberries, like strawberry candy for sure. But I'm not mad at that. I actually like that it's like a candied strawberry. Sometimes it's good to have a little bit of an artificial strawberry scent. Heidi, which is one of the founders of Sensi's favorite scent, apricot vanilla. This one, I always enjoy it but I never have it, like in stock. Look at the color, it's so pretty. I like this, this is like sweet, creamy apricot, a little bit tart, it's so pretty, so pretty apricot. It's definitely a scent that you either love or hate, I feel. I love apricot scents, but it's yummy. This is another one I enjoy so much, but I had none on hand, tangerine creamsicle. This legit smells like an orange creamsicle. Oh my gosh. Like, I understand it's tangerine creamsicle, but it totally smells like an orange creamsicle. Obsessed. One of my favorite bars for the summer, and that I'm going to hold on and melt in the summer. I can't believe I only got one bar of that, but oh well. I picked up two bars of vanilla bean buttercream. This is, again, one that I never have on hand, but I do enjoy. It is just a creamy sweet vanilla icing scent. And sometimes I have a bakery bar that I want to distribute to the whole open concept, but I only have one bar of it. So if I do a cube of that and a cube of vanilla bean buttercream, just to sweeten it up a little bit, that's why I picked that one up. <gasps> I'm so happy to have more of this. This was the other toss up brick that I was going to do for my club, but I think I might just wait for the next time my club ships and change the brick to Johnny Appleseed. So I have Two bars of Johnny Appleseed, and this is just the best apple. This and that apple press from the Bring Back My Bar. Oh, this is so good. This is always around, though. If it does ever leave, it will go in my club. But I had this in dish soap one time, and now every time I smell this, I think of dishes, which is not a bad thing. I love Johnny Appleseed. Just crisp, fresh apples. Another classic that I got two of that I love is aloe water and cucumber. There we go, aloe water and cucumber right there. Now this has a hint 
of pineapple that just makes it super sweet. The aloe water makes it a little bit creamy, a little green. It's so pretty. I feel like if you like cucumber and cactus water, you like aloe water and cucumber. They're both very similar to me. I have not dove into my bricks yet, but I do really enjoy aloe water and cucumber. It's just very clean and fresh. This is a bar, I had this in my old place and it must have went four or five days. Like it was crazy. This is the bar that keeps coming and never stops. Palm trees and ocean breeze. So I have two of these. This is great. This is definitely going in my club in the fall if it goes away. Oh, this is so good. It's watery, it's clean, it's fresh, aquatic, but the green note from the palm tree is really upfront. So you have to like green aquatic scents to like this. I really do. Excited to have that one. All right, these are new to me. Yep, okay. Now this is one I've never had. I, I don't know why. I mean, the Bath and Butterworks candle is okay for me. I never love it or crave it. But pineapple mango, I got two of them. This is like I said, a brand new bar for me. Very mango heavy and not as heavy on pineapple. That's very interesting. I was expecting it because like the Bath and Body Works one is very pineapple, very sweet, puckery pineapple, which that bothers me. I can't believe I didn't order any pineapple pucker this time because I love that scent, but I didn't order it. This is so yummy. This is juicy mango with just a hint of pineapple. I kind of wish there was a little bit more pineapple in there. Maybe it comes out on warm. This one, I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. I always blow past it in the catalog. I never order it for myself. Apple Teeny Splash. Never ordered it for myself, so let's see. Has a weird note to it. Hmm. I can tell it's like green, like candy apple, but there's like a hint of something else. I'm not sure what it is. Interesting. I don't love this. Hmm. I have no idea. It's weird. Very strange. I don't know. Apple teeny splash. Have you melted it? What do you think of it? Has an odd note to it. And then last but not least, pretty quick haul, is Daydream Oasis. This I know we have in dish soap right now. Never smelled it. I'm actually going to, I literally go, I'm going to go pick up my iPad and look, but it's doing an update. So uh, no scent notes. We're just going to smell on cold. It doesn't smell like much, if I'm being honest. Huh. It smells like... I give it, it gives me like cucumber and cactus water vibes, like that green cactus scent, but definitely more green and not as much of that like aquatic sense. Interesting. I love the color, but I don't know how I feel about the scent yet. Interesting. This is a, I don't know. What do you guys think of Daydream Oasis if you've melted it? So no idea. And I am a sensory consultant. I don't like push on here for it but if you do want to place an order my link is down below i have a spring party open now i do just like sensi on the side and it's a nice little extra income little side hustle but i do love my sensi bar it's been a lot more into it this year now that i have my new house than ever or apartment i should say but anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell that way you're alerted every time i upload a video here on youtube make it a better world and be kind i love you so much bye guys